So, there's something wrong with my laptop. So we're back at Craig's. And he's gonna fix it. Hopefully. Hard at work. Alright, finally got that done. On my way to the airport. Whew! I feel nope. like I'm just going home. Old, yeah, it doesn't, it hasn't really kicked in yet. That was really so it's getting a little bit hangry. So we stopped for some food. Now she's hangry. Just can't win. domestic flight from Edmonton to Vancouver my laptop got stopped and looked at and from Edmonton to Toronto the last time I flew they took stuff away there like between Canada but it didn't happen for international so apparently Canada is just way more strict between each province than it is between other countries which makes no sense there seems to be a mini mall on the way to international stuff. Look at this cool stream thing. Fake fish. So this is the plane I'm taking. Goodbye beautiful BC. Hello China. The boarding line's getting pretty small. I should probably get on the plane. Here we go. Vancouver now and it's like five o'clock here so I've been going backwards in time with each hour but it was the second when I left and it's the third now so I guess I went back to the future uh -huh. beautiful Beijing it actually just looks super polluted and not healthy so I went to go buy like a sandwich at the cafe and I looked down at the price and it said 25. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's outrageous. And then I realized that I'm in China. So those are not Canadian dollars. It ended up being like five bucks. So that was acceptable. Also, my flight has been delayed. It went from four hours to five hours. So go shopping, I guess. The pollution is so bad that you can actually look at the sun. That is the sun that you can't see through all the fog. Just realized I totally forgot to get an adapter. Well, got another three hours. May as well have a nap. I've officially landed in Bangkok, made it through customs, which took like an hour. It is 2.02 a.m. in Bangkok. Alright, so I tried calling an Uber and I couldn't find them. So I ended up canceling and got charged for that. But I can't get a cab without getting like a ticket. It's overall very confusing. I'm gonna just like walk away from the airport and then get a cab. that I only had thousand dollar bills and my cabbie has no like cash so he just like and he just like trusted that I would stay here and wait for him so that worked out it's actually a lot of trust going on here and how it worked is we ended up agreeing ahead of time how much I would pay so he no rush I got my key card for my place So cool. So there I am, checking into my first hostel by myself. <laughs> 